Yeah, the, well, I had to name it the Buffer 180 because everybody caught on to it. But what happened is, I don't even know the exact show. It was three years or more ago. But in the middle of the main event, when I'm doing all my stuff, and I never rehearse till I get in there, and I get passionate about what I'm doing when I went, and now introducing the fighter in the blue corner, I happen to be looking at the red corner. So in that millionth of a second, as your brain works, it's like, how the fuck do I do this? And I just all of a sudden went like this, and then I walked over, and I got a reaction. And after the fight, I thought, hey, that works. So then I just started working on it and building it up, and then the fans started reacting. And I save it for the main events, and in the beginning, you've got the got like I'll be this way and I'll do a 45 or I'll walk out like this and I'll do a 90 so it's like 45s and 90s depending on the fight or just announce it but the main events or the co-main events 180. Okay. Uh, the 360 may come. I don't, I don't recommend you do this at home because it's really hard on the knees and the hips but the 360 will take place. Can you show How is this 360 going to go down? Quinton, Rampage, Jack, Oh my God. That That's awesome. the only way. And then if I fall, I could roll, do it, do a roll, and pop if up, and fall? just go like this. And everybody's gonna think it's part of the routine because they don't know what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm safe. If you do the 360 at the at the UFC 100, I'm gonna shit my pants in the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. If that you goes, don't have me before, it'll be UFC 100, and that's it. That's the part right, I got to do it. But that was your taste right there. I was cold, and did it work, Joe? That was pretty outstanding. Okay. If you ever pull that off, the fucking crowd's gonna go nuts. <laughs>